Well, Craig, we know temps uh, as they get hotter, it's easier for those wildfires to spark. I mean, especially in the eastern part of yeah. uh, the states, Washington or Oregon, it's a lot drier over there. Not quite as much rainfall. Things are things are just tinder dry in places. Yeah, and especially uh, this entire season. I know we had a great snowpack, but the rainfall widespread. Yeah, it's just not all that good. Jessica and Greg, and as we go through the day tomorrow, the eastern side of the state still has heat advisories and they still have, you know, high danger, high fire danger as we go through the day tomorrow and into Friday. Meantime, on this side of the Cascades, we're starting to see the return of the marine layer and that's going to cool us off a little bit more. Look at the highs today, though. 80s here, just about everywhere. 70s along the coast. You look over at the eastern side of the state. We've got just a few numbers there for you, but Yakima got up to 100 degrees, 98 in Wenatchee. Oh, yeah, and tomorrow those numbers are only going to come down about 5 degrees or so. All right, so SeaTac today with a high of 85, not near anywhere near the record, which was 94, set back in 1970. The average for this time of year is 69. And if you look closely, just uh, to the right, of the center of your screen, you can see the mountain on this specific image here as the sun went down at 9. It goes down at 9.01 tomorrow. Still a little bit of light left over from the sun going over the horizon. Current temperature is still in the 60s and the marine layer is starting to come back. And as we pause a moment with Craig, look at Desi Ray getting some sun and some fresh air earlier in the week. Isn't that a beautiful cat? Just enjoying the view there. Hey, how about tomorrow? Patchy clouds are back in the forecast to start the day. We will get some sunshine going by the afternoon. UV index remains very high with the number eight there as we go through the day tomorrow. Sunshine for the mountains back to about 70, about 10 degrees cooler there. This high pressure is starting to, to move over to the east, south and southeast, and break down a little. So with the north-northwest flow coming in tomorrow, we'll have clouds and drizzle to start the day. Maybe a light shower or two along the coast and south sound early in the morning. And then we'll get some clearing by the afternoon. Real rain, measurable rain, comes in this weekend. Now, it's not going to be a rainy weekend, but we are going to see some rain mixed in with the sun breaks on Saturday. Temperatures will drop almost 20 degrees. And then as we go into Sunday, we could see a few isolated thunderstorms in the mix. So tonight's lows, mid-50s to a few low 60s. As we go through the day tomorrow, we'll be in the upper 60s along the coast. Mid 70s around the sound and then we'll cool a little bit more on Friday, but I say cool, but 75 still very nice for this time of year. 71, not all that bad and 60s by the time we get into Saturday and Sunday. I've got a 62 on Sunday. That system is going to be very cold and maybe a few isolated thunderstorms on Sunday. Thank you, Craig. You got it. Still